the Direct Supply Attendant Deluxe Alarm provides additional options for noise control over the Direct Supply Economy Alarm. Unlike the Economy Alarm, this unit has no on-off switch and is therefore always active so long as there is a live battery inside. This alarm features two additional noise control options, alarm delay and nurse call connectivity. The first option is alarm delay. Inside the battery case will be a delay switch, allowing the caregiver to delay alerts for zero, one, or two seconds after the resident has removed pressure from the pad. This feature may help reduce false alarms due to residents who may be adjusting their position as opposed to falling. Volume controls are also in the battery case, which can be screwed shut to prevent tampering with resident-specific settings. Be sure to set these functions according to your resident-specific care plan before putting the alarm into use. Weave pad cord through holes in protective boot and then into the pad jack on the bottom of the alarm. The second option is nurse call connectivity. The attendant deluxe model features a nurse call jack in the bottom of the alarm. This jack can connect to most hardwired nurse call bed stations using a splitter and cable adapter. This function allows the alert to be sent through your call light system to increase caregiver awareness of fall events. If you wish to silence the alarm at the bedside, simply turn your volume setting to silent and alerts will only sound through the call system. Test the alarm functionality by pinching and releasing pressure from the pad. An in-use light at the top of the alarm will indicate the alarm is active. The alarm light will be activated when pressure has been released from the pad and the alarm will sound. The low battery light will blink and chirp when the battery needs to be replaced. To reset active alarms on the attendant deluxe unit, simply press the reset button located on the back of the alarm or reapply pressure to the pad. The alarm may be attached to beds or chairs with standard mesh strap or with optional bed or chair clips. For earliest awareness of fall events, place the bed pads behind shoulder blades or the bony prominence that leaves the bed first. Place chair pads under the core of the resident. Always refer to your resident's specific fall assessment to customize pad placement to each resident's movement behavior.